Hi everyone, Tracy Holloway here. It's my absolute pleasure to be with you bringing you this Life Upgrade broadcast, Ascension Steps 3. This is our last broadcast for the next, we're going to have three weeks now to enable this initial energy to ground for you to kind of bring that in fully into your lives and work with that for a little while. So we will bring some activations in today, some insights, some energy transmis transmission and just get you all fired up and ready for this next three weeks of uh, of interacting with those energies, working with them, grounding them, getting them to work for you in your life. There's going to be a lot of letting go. There's going to be a lot of realizations. There's going to be a lot of change. It doesn't have to be quick. It doesn't have to all happen at once. It can be a gentle, gentle, softly, softly approach. It hasn't got to be all chaotic and dramatic. Though sometimes the energy of this time can feel pretty full on. Um, and so we're going to bring in that energy transmission to help support you through the challenges and to bring that guiding, loving support to be with you all the time. And of course, while the broadcast's going on at this time, and you can listen to the replay of this over and over again, that enables you to access the energy transmission, to ground it fully into your life. And that can be working to support you in all areas, on a day-to-day -day basis. The more you open up to it, the more you allow it to be part of your life, the more guidance you'll, you'll feel and the, uh, the greater awareness you'll have and the more awake you will become. And so you can allow the energy transmission to work with you in a way that's right for you. There's no right way, there's just your way. And so you're learning to have a relationship with this amazing energy transmission of the ascension process so that it can help to support you to unfold and open up and be the amazing being that you are. Before we get too into everything on this special day, uh, I just want to let you know that after a three week period of just working with these energies, letting them settle, finding out where you are within it all, we'll come back and then we'll do another three broadcasts, take things to the next level. It's almost like there are certain keys going into a um, a lock. It's like coded information that's being brought through and then it, it kind of just twists a little bit and comes in a little bit further and deepening the knowledge, deepening the awareness, awakening you further. And then that settles for a while and then you're ready for the, the next key, if you like, or the next codes of information uh, to access the next point, the next vibratory level. Uh, and so we're going to be just going through that process. I have no idea how long we'll be doing this for. Um, I'm just available. Uh, that's how my life is. I work with guidance all the time. And so I never even know what's going to happen from one minute to the next. I'm completely surrendered to the process, which means that I never know what we're going to be talking about on these broadcasts or what it's going to be about there are no notes or anything for me here. We just open up uh, the opportunity, if you like. We just create the space um, for you to access the energy transmission uh, and to make that available to you. And that guidance then comes through. And depending on who's available, you know, who's listening in, uh, the delivery, if you like, the energetic uh, delivery of information comes personal to you, specifically to where you're at. And of course, with so many people now listening worldwide, which is lovely, I can see all the little flags on my screen of all the different people all over the world listening in. That means there's a huge array of, of people at all different places, not just geographically in different locations, but you're all on very different uh, in different places within your own life, within your own journey, on your own path, within your own development. And that's beautiful to see. So some of you that are just showing up for the first time saying, God, I don't even know why I'm 
listening to this. I don't really know where I'm at and what's going on. I'm just following my intuition and this feels right and who knows. And that's a great starting point. It's such a wonderful thing to start to follow your intuition and to see where that goes. It will guide you to the most amazing opportunities. Um, and some of the, some of you that have been working with energy or working on yourself or with the planetary energies um, for a longer time, you'll have been on a journey in and out, up and down, round about, you know, it can be come in all shapes and forms. And so wherever you're at, it's exactly where you need to be. It's not that some people are more advanced than others. It's not that some people are better than others. It's not that some people get it more than others. You are all exactly where you need to be because where you are is perfect. You're in alignment. You're in the flow. And even if that flow is struggle at the moment, is challenging at the moment, that doesn't make it any less perfect. That's where you are. That's the energy you're working with currently. And so just acknowledge that for a moment. Just acknowledge the perfection and the beauty in being present to what is. Rather than thinking you've got to be someone else or be somewhere else or be doing something else. That actually where you are and who you are at this time is perfect. And of course, everything's changing all the time. It doesn't stay stagnant. <laughs> it's always moving. And we're moving with the waves of change, transformation at this time. It's so wonderful to see so many of you, beings of light, awakening, taking your place at this time. It's so beautiful. And so before we go any further with this broadcast, I'd like you to just come fully into your heart center. You can close your eyes if you haven't done already. And just take a moment to be fully present Fully present to your breath as you're breathing in, breathing out. Nowhere else you need to be right now, nothing else you need to do. Just come fully into this, this present moment, regardless of what kind of day you've had. And I know for some of you across the other side of the world, you're waking up specially to listen to this broadcast. And so for those of you that are sleepy, and wherever you are in the world, just take a moment to connect to the very heart of you. And just have a moment of self-appreciation for taking this time for yourself and to help support a bigger process, a process that you're an important part of. That you're integral to. So as you come fully into your heart, aware of the power of your loving heart, and you accept yourself, and you say thank you to you, just for being you. And you allow the ripple of that self-love and self-appreciation to ripple out throughout this great cosmos. 
There's no limit to where that wave of energy can go. You are without limits. Allow the energy of your heart to touch the energy of each and every person on this broadcast as if their heart energy and your heart energy merge together as one loving heart. One light. One love. It's reassuring to know that there are so many others like you that have been called forth at this time to bring their light be a gateway, to build a bridge, to make way for a new world. That new world is being built within you. At moments like this, when you answer that true heart's calling to be available, to be unified, to be whole and at one with all. You are creating a powerful gateway of light as your heart energy merges together across this great planet, surrounding her with love, with appreciation, with gratitude, with support. You have been born to this planet at this time to hold this space, to anchor this energy transmission, to call the earth forward to a higher vibration, raising consciousness, awakening humanity creating a new world for all to share. You're born at this time to be part of this great awakening. It hasn't always been easy. For some of you, being a child of light it's been incredibly painful, incredibly hard, traumatic. There have been times when perhaps you haven't wanted to be here at all. There may have been times when you felt that you don't belong here. Or perhaps you found that this hostile place was just too much for one as beautiful as you. As sensitive. Perhaps the darkness and the shadows were just too scary. Perhaps there have been times where you've wondered what it's all about. 
and why you'd be put somewhere so uncomfortable without any help without any guidance without knowing what it's all about and so as a child of light you may have had many questions may have had many doubts. You may have had many fears and maybe some of those doubts and fears you carried with you into adulthood. This time of great change and personal transformation. It's a time of letting go. Letting go of the doubt, the fear, the discouraging voice within that tells you that you're not good enough and not worth it and you'll never make the grade. It's time to let go, it's time to know, to know your true reason for being, to awaken to that fully and live true to that every day, in every way, in all that you do, in all that you say, with integrity with certainty, with passion, with conviction, with love. There were times as a child of light that you felt so alone, so cut off, perhaps abandoned, or rejected, or just not worth knowing. Today, at this moment, this present point, in your awakened state, your heart knows that each and every other person that you're connecting with right now is a brother or sister of light. Star children, star seeds came to earth to bring their magnificence, to bring your magic, to bring your light, It may have felt like you were the only one. You may have thought that you were deluded. Or that you were crazy. And so you may for a while have hidden. Hidden your truth. Hidden your power. Hidden your light. You may have gone about your business and tried to fit in and make sense of this illusory world. But you've been able to see through it right from the start and even through all the confusion there's always been that special place right at the centre of your heart. at the heart of you, connects you to everything that's true, brings you into alignment with all, at one with the heart of the universe, the heart of the planet, 
one heart, one breath, as you took that first breath here on earth, you brought with you something very special, specific coded information that you would in time release, breaking the density of the past, the shell if you like, from the energetic the energetic field that's all around the planet. It was hard, like a crusty shell. And your job, as you came to Earth and took that first breath, arrived here, was to take that density that darkness, transmute it. You've done so, so well. That's why you're here at this time, to know that, to hear that, to know that all that suffering and the sacrifice those feelings of being overwhelmed and even completely lost and doubting at times. That all that's part of the process. All that's part of the old stuff that we're shedding like a skin, breaking free from it, discarding it bit by bit. As we learn to know what we're not and embrace fully that which we are. But it can feel so ugly, it can feel so strange, it can feel so uncomfortable. And sometimes you can take it on and actually think that it's your identity that it's who you are. But you're here to know. You're a child of light. With such immense power. You're learning to open up to that, embrace it, accept it, and work with it. You don't need to be afraid of it. Don't need to hide from it. Just need to be willing. Willing to allow your life to be guided by your greatest intelligence, your divine wisdom, that light which you came with. It's always been there. It's coming to the surface more and more to show you which way to go and how to be as you find the keys to being yourself fully and you let go of the discomfort and the shadows from the past. You put the key in the lock open your heart and you find that everything that you dreamed possible is real and everything starts to flow you're coming to this place this place of realization, a realization beyond anything you've ever known before, 
a sense of being in exactly the right place at exactly the right time. Knowing truth. Being able to put your hand on your heart. Say, I've always known. I may have denied it. I may have wanted to hide. But in truth, the heart knows. The heart knows everything. This connection to your heart that brings you fully into alignment with the heart of this great planet, into alignment with the heart of the cosmos. So is all is one. It's from this heart centered place that your true work here is done. From this place of knowing. This place of trust, this place of surrender. You're about to take a journey, a journey deep within yourself. There's no limit to what's possible on this day. There's no limit to what's possible in this lifetime. There's no limit to what's possible for humanity at this time. You're part of a great shift. And this great shift is happening first within you. As you journey deep. Deep into the very heart. As you deepen your connection to the very power that you have within, know that as a child of light, you have nothing to fear. You can smile to yourself, a confident smile, and allow that light energy transmission to move through you, opening you up gently to all that you are, to all that you came here to be. This is a gateway moment as you journey deep within yourself at this time. You're receiving specific coded information to help with your awakening. To support the ascension process. And to guide a new frequency of energy to this planet at this point in time. Guiding her forth. Guiding you forth. You're awakening to the power that you have to be in the right place at the right time and hold this specific frequency of light energy transmission. This is a gateway moment. You're receiving an activation. This activation brings light energy transmission to the exact coordinate, the exact geographical space at this particular time where you are in this moment guiding energy to the planet, to the heart, through your awakened self. You are a vessel through which this light energy transmission beams. All you have to do is allow. All you have to do is be. Relaxing more deeply. 
sinking more fully, opening more powerfully. This is a gateway moment. You are this gateway of light. You are linked with all the others at this point in time and you are accessing a specific geographical point, harnessing this light energy transmission, allowing it to pass through you to the heart of the planet at this ascension time. You are a point in space-time. You are in exact position. You were called forth to be in this place at this time so that you could hold this light energy transmission as part of the ascension process. Regardless of what's going on in your life, regardless of the various challenges you've overcome, regardless of the changes still to come, at this moment you are a transceiver of light energy transmission. You are remembering, you're remembering your true power, you're remembering your purpose for being, you're remembering without doubt that all is as it should be, that you are in alignment and that you've taken your place as you said you would. You've been called forth to work with this energy at this time. It's the specific coded information that you brought to the planet at the time of your first breath. It's representative collective density in consciousness which is shifting, changing as you personally shift and change. The changes, the moving, the shifting, it's all guided. So rather than resist, just go with it, trust it. You've come so far already, you really need to start believing in yourself now. You really need to start trusting and believing in your inner guidance. as you've been guided so well. There's so 
so much to share with you. So much information. So many insights. So many important activations. The most important thing is to trust yourself fully. To allow yourself to be fully present and at one with all. Accept full responsibility for yourself, for your life. And know that when things are challenging, when there are things going on that you dislike or you may judge or you may fear or worry or stress. Know and trust that those are energies that are shifting from the collective consciousness of this planet. And you are just observing them, watching them release. It's the physical realm that's changing. And so things feel very physical at the moment. Your body's making so many physical changes. It can feel uncomfortable as the body lets go of the past. The aches, the pains can feel like you're falling apart. We've got this headache and this problem and that problem. The more you recognize it as just energy moving through, as you move through the energy, then you can let go and not get so attached to it all, not get so worried about it all, not make it who you are, not own it. <laughs> It's a transient period. Nothing's going to stay the same. So learning to let go is the key. Surrender, let go. Surrender, let go. Trust. Trust and know. You're receiving specific coded information at this time. Into the area between your heart and your navel, your belly button. Specific coded information is to help the child of light within you to make this transition at this time so that he or she can remember the true power that he or she came with. This child may have felt abandoned, may have felt denied. This child of light may have found life very difficult here on earth. So there can be anger there. There can be rage. It may be hidden. It may not be hidden so well for some of you. As for some it may have been suppressed. You might have thought that it's not very spiritual or not very beautiful or not very nice to be angry. Maybe that's what you were taught. Maybe there's been no space for the feelings that that child had to hold back with. Those feelings when the child was misunderstood. 
not given the space that he or she needed to be heard or seen for the miraculous and amazing being that he or she truly is. That's hard. That's very hard. For a world to project restrictions onto a child of light. And for the child of light to be so powerless that that child had to swallow that. Had to at some level just take it. Accept it. Yeah, of course there's parts who are really not happy about that. I've got quite angry perhaps not being heard. This rage, this anger, this potency, this power, this is the child of light's will that's been suppressed so deep within that this energy transmission is transmuting all of that, all of that suppressed anger and rage, the hurt, the betrayal, the sadness, the confusion. It's transmuting it all into divine light, divine will, divine purpose so that that child of light can reawaken to its true authentic power. Remembering the beauty that it came with, the integrity, the truth. Like a chariot, reins held now by you, the adult, with this powerful beast, horse, mythical creature, whatever this embodiment of this energy that was once anger, was once rage, was once fear, was once doubt, transmuting it now into focus and dedication to continue with the mission that you came here to play an important part in. You can take the reins. You can steer your life. You can steer the light of your true power. It's like riding a chariot. And that chariot is pulling the earth forward at this time as you take back that power and you transform it into true divine power and purpose and will and you have the conviction to allow that light to be known to allow it to be seen to have the courage to move forward and to allow that awesomeness to ride out You can hear the gallop, you can feel the tightening of the reins, you can sense that chariot moving forward, wheels going round, perhaps it's flying through the sky. This is an important moment for the transformation of information from the child of light to be recalled, reactivated and brought into alignment. That area of your body, between your heart and your navel, is receiving a specific activation to transmute all of that power that's been withheld to turn it all around 
into a power that you can use, that you can use with confidence now. As we ride forward on the waves of transformation, steering taking the earth to a whole new vibratory level a whole new level of consciousness see yourself with those reins in your chariot See the energetic waves, see yourself moving with them. Feel the power that you have. See the light in your eyes, the smile on your face, the power in your physical body. There's that child of light was suppressed is now remembered in full and awakened in truth and called forward in this moment to take your place with all the other riders with all the other chariots with all those who know what it means to take up their power at this time. A power so beautiful, a power so true, a power that is divine. This activation is coming to you right at this moment. This activation will bring you into alignment with your true light being self. Back to the moment of that first breath where you awakened as a child of light with a purpose to bring that light to this planet. To bring that light to this planet regardless of how dark it is how dark the earth may seem, the people, the places, the challenges that you would experience. At that moment, as you came into being, you were brought into this body, a powerful being of light had to shrink down so tiny to contort into something so small and insignificant so that you wouldn't be noticed for a while until this time and so you've carried with yourself for quite some time this idea that it's important to stay hidden but now it's time to shine out as brightly as you possibly can in every way the time of hiding has passed the time of playing small is no more the time of being insignificant thinking you're nothing worthless that's not just yesterday that's the history of humanity and we're breaking free from that once and for all. So that the future generations can be born into light, to know their true power, to never have that taken away, to never doubt it, to never fear the shadowy places. Those places of darkness were so important to those first star seeds. Without them, without those dark shadowy places, you would not have learnt to hold your light, to trust it, 
to attune to it, to live with it. So we can be grateful for the darkness as we shift through this time of polarity, as we sway backwards and forwards, as this transformation occurs. We can ebb and flow. You can move one way and the other, sometimes to one extreme and then to another extreme. But eventually, you'll find that centered place, that place of knowing, that place of authentic presence, where you're at one with all. It's time to speak quietly to yourself and to remember what it is that you need to do personally. Let the quiet mind speak to you in this moment and whisper to you a truth that's so powerful that from this moment forth your life will be transformed. Because this word What's said from deep within you into the quiet mind is exactly what you need to hear. quiet mind and the communication that comes forward to you. It may not come as a voice in your head, it may come as a sense, something you just know, something you feel, a flash, something you're aware of. It may not come immediately, it may come as you sleep tonight or tomorrow in the daytime. Who knows? But what is known is that within you, all the answers, everything you need to know exists. There's nothing outside of you. This energy transmission that you're receiving through these broadcasts is helping to support you to get more and more in tune with the heart of you. The very power that you have be at the heart of the universe, the heart of the cosmos, the heart of everything at this time. There's nothing that you don't know. There's nothing that you can't do. And this gentle awakening is what's going to help not just transform your own life, but to shake up and awaken the consciousness of humanity as our planet is reborn to a new level, a new vibration, a new sense, a sense of oneness sense of love, a sense of unity as we come together and remember what's important. You are the most important thing in this world right now. Know that. It's true. You are everything. And because of you, all things are possible and because of what you're doing right now on a moment by moment day to day basis as you're learning to ground this new energy transmission you are enabling the planet to ascend you 
you. You have such great purpose. What more could you want than to be part of something so amazing and it's something that you do naturally. It's something that you do effortlessly. It's something that you do easily. All you've got to do is be you. Nothing else. Just be you. Find yourself. Let go of everything that's not you. Shed it like a skin. Try on different things until you find the real true you of you. Shake everything else away and find the very essence, the very purity, the very magic at your core. As this is the energy transmission that you're being supported by this great cosmos to bring forth. As it's this in its entirety that brings all into being. You're receiving the last activation of this broadcast. It's coming to you now. This is a specific gateway moment, aligning you to the very heart of you, to the very centre and core of your being, to invite you to call the true essence within you forth so that you can see it, sense it, know it, and be present to it in all that you do. This activation is enabling you to know yourself. To gently release that which isn't you. To let go of all the fear and all the doubt that can surround you, distract you, confuse you. This gateway moment is yours. It's bright and it's light and it's beautiful and it's beckoning you to step forward. You can step into the light. You can step into your totality, your authenticity, your purpose. Step fully into your light now and let the whole universe know that you are here and that it is time and that there is nothing, nothing you have to do but shine.